Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. Just coming on here to do our weekly cash stuffing. Sorry that I missed last week, but we didn't have much to stuff. I only had about five bills and I went ahead and put them into our envelopes. It was gonna lend to a less than a minute video. So I figured I would just save everything for today. Thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. I appreciate you all. And as always, this is one of my favorite videos to film because it means that I get money, money, money. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I like to close out uh, the week prior. So here's our grocery envelope and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out any change that we may have. So here's my change. And it's gonna go ahead and go into our pretty empty <laughs> uh, anniversary jar. As you know, uh, we are currently counting all the money that was in there and I'm taking it to the bank tomorrow. So I will have a total for what we've saved in the last six months and change um, on Sunday's video, which is kind of exciting. As far as groceries go, let's see how much we have left. So we have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. I'm gonna go ahead and roll over 20 just because I like to do so. Um, our <clears throat> grocery bill was actually smaller than usual. Um, we had a lot extra from camping, so it kind of helped us out. And let's see, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take $15 out of here and put it into our gift fund um, because my brother's birthday is on Halloween and I wanna make sure that we have enough for a gift for him. So we've got five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side for when we get to the gift envelope. And one, two, three, and four dollars are going into our dollar savings. So let me go ahead and pull that out. This has been empty since I emptied it at the beginning of October. We just haven't had any overage. So we're getting started again. As far as what we're filling today, we are gonna be filling $321. Let's make sure that that's what I've got. So I've got 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So $321. Let's go ahead and place that in the sorter. Here we go. And we're gonna start with our variable envelope binder, which is my teal binder. Groceries is gonna go ahead and get its weekly $100. So here's the $100 bill for it. So we've got a budget of 120 for this week. And I'm gonna set that into my wallet and close that up. Currently, our grocery envelope is just sitting with our $250 for that $100 buffer. We did dip into gas. Uh, twice this last week and it's gonna go ahead and get 222 sorry 250s um, I do like to put our gas money in $50 bills just because that's the average of what we're spending to fill our tanks this is currently sitting at 51 52 50 and 1 which means that I do keep a $100 buffer in here so we've got 51 50 and and one, so 151 is what we have for the rest of October. So we're doing really well with gas. I'm proud of us. $5, 10, 
Fur Babies is not gonna get filled today. My personal, oops, eating out isn't going to get anything. Our snowball is set to get $21. So I'm gonna go ahead and take 21 out. This isn't as much as we usually put into our snowball by the end of the month, but we did have that little snafu last week, which is completely fine. I'm glad that we didn't get into any additional debt. This snowball is currently sitting at 20, 30, 40, and one. So $41 is going into our snowball before the end of the month, which is exciting. And we are finished with the variable envelope binder. Now let's get into our sinking fund binder. So medical always gets $25. So let's get that in here. Medical is currently sitting at 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, 470, 490, 95, and five. So $500 is what we have in medical. Getting back to medical, I got a statement from our IVF doctor the other day letting me know that I pay, I needed to pay an extra $790. Please, 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 if you're in a predicament with a medical group, make sure you have access to your insurance because I did call them and let them know that my explanation of benefits showed that those services were covered and that I had a copay of zero dollars. <throat> Therefore, they are overturning it, um, but they're much. it's much easier for them to ask for money than it is for them to return money, so I don't know how long that's gonna take, but please pay attention to those because um, if I didn't know much about the medical field, I probably would have just paid the 790 and then stressed about what our return was gonna be. Linus and Leo, they're gonna go ahead and get their weekly $15. And they're sitting at 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 30, and five. So 435 for Linus and Leo. Household is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 15. So household is sitting at 50, 70, 85. So $85 in household. That did take uh, a hit not too long ago when I stocked up on some stuff. So this is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 15 plus the 15 that I'm taking from groceries. That gets us to a gift total of 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we've got $120 in gifts. That feels a lot better. Car maintenance is gonna go ahead and get $15. Let's go ahead and fill this. And car maintenance is currently sitting at 100, 200, 253, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, and 73. So $373 is what we have in car maintenance. Vacation, we had thought that we were gonna get an overage from vacation, but if you remembered, Last week, I actually pulled $50 out of what we had for vacation to help us with our weekly expenditures. So this week, it's starting off with $5 again. Luckily, it's getting cold here in Colorado, so we probably won't be camping anytime soon, and we'll be able to bulk this up during the holidays. Renter's insurance is gonna go ahead and get its weekly $3. So one, two, and three. And renter's insurance is currently sitting with 50, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, and 87. This one was skipped last week, 
but our car registration, which is coming up at the beginning of 2023, was filled. So this one's gonna have a $3 more. So one, two, and three. So car registration is currently sitting at 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. That's moving along quite nicely. And last but certainly not least is our emergency fund. So our emergency fund is still sitting with $1,000 in our savings account. And these last $4, which add up our sinking funds to $100, go into our emergency. So we've got 1,000, 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So if we've got $1,112 currently sitting in our emergency envelope, which is exciting. Well, friends, we have come to an end. Uh, for anyone who is interested in where I have purchased my envelopes or my binders or anything like that, just check my description box. Um, I will be back on Sunday to go over our um, November week one budget. I can't believe we're already budgeting for November. Tomorrow is my hubby and I's sixth year anniversary and I am so blessed to have him in my life. Um, I will definitely keep you posted with what we get in our anniversary jar. Take care my friends. I hope each and every one of you has an amazing and safe weekend. Take care and I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> Bye friends.